Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Failing to produce indigenous ultralight howitzer, Army has to look for export option in past. India had signed a deal with US in 2016 for 145 M777 howitzers. Under the deal of 750 million dollars, 25 guns were delivered by BAE Systems while the remaining 120 were to be assembled in India by Mahindra Defence in Faridabad. As of November 2021, 89 howitzers have been delivered to Indian Army and 56 more M777 guns were expected to be delivered by June 2022. The 155mm 39-caliber ultralight howitzer has a range of 22.5 km which can be further extended to 30 km using base bleed ammunition like M795. It can also fire Excalibur ammunition which gives it a range of 40 km. The induction of M777 has given a big boost to Army's firepower against PLA. The Army has deployed M777s in Ladakh where India and China have locked horn for over two years and also in Arunachal Pradesh across where PLA has stepped up its activity. The Hoitzer can be easily moved from one area to another depending on requirement and we have seen it being even transported by Chinook as underslung load for swift deployment in high altitude areas. They can be deployed in areas where heavier artillery gun cannot be deployed due to terrain. Now as we all know that Ministry of Defence had already announced multiple negative lists of defence item which also includes 155mm 39 caliber ultra light howitzer which means MOD has stopped import of ULH since December 2020 and no more M777 ULH can be imported for Indian Army. However, Army need these guns and has a huge requirement of artillery gun and there are plans to equip 169 artillery regiments with a mix of nearly 3000 guns over the next decade. This is where the Kalyani group comes to rescue. The Kalyani's ultralight howitzer 155 by 39 also called Mark or Mountain Artillery Gun is touted as indigenous option of the famous American M777 artillery gun. Weighing less than 4.5 ton, the gun can be airlifted via Chinook and can be transported to inaccessible terrains. Kalyani Group has developed two versions of this gun. The all titanium version of ULH weighs 4.8 tons and all steel version of ULH weighs 6.8 ton. The advantage of titanium being lightweight comes with the difficulty of maintenance. Steel is more malleable, easy to maintain and of course cheap. A third variant of this gun is also developed based on the feedback from late CDS General Vipin Rawat. This was all steel ULH mounted on a Ashok Leyland MK4 General Utility Truck for mobility in mountainous terrain. Mark is the only artillery gun in its category that can be mounted on a 4x4 wheeled platform. The Mark is designed specifically for mountainous terrain of North India. For improved accuracy and consistency, the gun features digital fire control. The gun has two types of recoil system, a conventional recoil ULH and advanced hybrid recoil ULH. The hybrid recoil is more advanced than the conventional as it incorporates state-of-art advanced recoil system which further brings down the weight of gun to less than 4.5 tons. The ULH has a range of 22.4 km with an unassisted artillery and 30 km with an assisted artillery shell similar to that of M777. It has two modes of firing. In intense mode, the gun can fire four rounds per minute for three minutes. In sustained mode, it can fire one or two rounds per minute and only limited by tube's temperature. The gun can quickly brought into action in less than three minutes and requires a crew of five to operate. The Kalyani group has completed the internal trials of its gun and it's now undergoing trials by Indian Army. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector